With episode 3 of the battle arena now in the history books as we here today present another battle featuring none other than Bill Skarsgård's Pennywise in now being placed in a situation and going toe to toe one on one against Robert England's Freddy Krueger as we now dive deeper into this discussion in finding out who between Pennywise the Clown and the Demon Freddy Krueger would win. Joining me right now to further tackle this hypothetical battle is my good friend and YouTuber Mark and I as I also want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below on who you believe would win between Freddy Krueger and Pennywise the Clown in giving them both two separate scenarios and situations to be placed in, that being situation slash scenario A, seeing both Pennywise and Freddy Krueger battle in the real world and scenario slash situation B, in now placing them both in the dream realm in finding out which one of the two would emerge victorious. Now Mark, we are going to be kicking things off by having them fight first in the real world. Now this is going to be something where they're on an equal playing field, there's nothing there, and when looking back on the fight between Freddy and Jason, and just as an example, if we're going to be using that variation of Freddy, then I think it's safe to say that Freddy Krueger, even while in the real world, is very durable as an entity because not only did Freddy sustain massive amounts of damage by Jason in 2004, I believe, Freddy vs. Jason, by having this big behemoth use his machete and chopping Freddy up, throwing him through walls and buildings, and make no mistake about it, when going back and looking at how much punishment Freddy took while not having the advantage against Jason, he was able to relatively hold his own versus I think by comparison Pennywise the Clown in the real world where once the adults slash kids showed no signs of fearing the clown we then saw little by little how Pennywise was beginning to deteriorate and reverting to a little baby form of what he used to be of his former self to where as of course we already know the Deadlights are a completely separate living entity that comes from an entirely different universe slash dimension altogether but in the real world if we were to somehow place Freddy Krueger against Pennywise the Clown, then I don't think either of them would fear the other, which I do think would give Freddy the advantage here because if Pennywise is trying to do his best in manifesting into a monster or a zombie or a werewolf or anything else, then I don't think Freddy would have any fear of that in knowing the fact that, yeah, this clown is something different altogether, but there is a weakness, and that weakness is not giving it any sort of fear, right? Which, we know that for Freddy to display fear is hard enough as it is, and with that claw intact, I don't see Pennywise emerging victorious in the real world, so with that being said, I think that even if Pennywise were to unleash massive amounts of damage to Freddy's body, then just like we've seen go down with Jason, I think that Freddy may actually survive this. So in a real world-like scenario where it's an open field, I'm going with Freddy, but I want you to let me know right now as well as everyone else watching this down in the comment section below that if placed in a real world scenario, not in the dream world yet, but only having them fight in the actual living world, who do you think would emerge victorious and why? I mean, I think we also have to remember what it actually is. It is the deadlights from the macro verse from Stephen King's world. And so it is it is an otherworldly force as well. It's not just a clown with manipulative powers. It's it's so much more than that, and actually female. It is an incredibly powerful force to be reckoned with. So Freddy feeds off of fear, otherwise he's nothing. You look at Freddy versus Jason, since we brought that up, Freddy has to use Jason as a tool to manipulate, to build up fear on Elm Street specifically, so people's fear are related to Freddy. My understanding with the intention behind that is Freddy's powers beyond Elm Street are, are fairly weak. Everyone on Elm Street knows who he is. Sure, the surrounding area, I'm sure probably knows as well, but it does seem like Elm Street tried to keep that very self-contained forget his name, don't say it like Voldemort, keep it around, like don't let it spread like wildfire as peers want to do. So what's the next best thing? If you can't uh, cause fear yourself, get someone else to do it. He manipulates Jason, Jason goes killing people, people think that it's Freddy behind it, they find out it's Jason realizing they're working together, blah, 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 whatever. But Freddy is able to use that fear to strengthen him and then attack, okay? If we're talking about Freddy not having any of that, he doesn't stand a chance. There's nothing that he can do. He can't scare the deadlights. I wouldn't say Freddy is fear itself. I think he just feeds off of created fear. I would say that the deadlights and it are probably closer to a fear itself because it manifests in the form of, of fear. It can, it can feel what you're afraid of and then embody that and create that in any instance, whether you're dreaming, whether you're alive, whatever. Freddy has to be in your dreams and he can kill you there by not letting you wake up. So I think there are a lot of boundaries and limitations to what his power has. However, um, Freddy has been to hell and Freddy has also uh, uh, been empowered by a demon. And if you remember that demons are from hell, it, we have to really know what the extent of his abilities are 
I think that that creates a very interesting perspective because if you think about Freddy and Jason and the whole hell concept, because they've both been there, especially when I forget from when it was, uh, actually it was Jason goes to hell, I think, where uh, Jason's uh, mask gets pulled down from Freddy like pulled down into hell or whatever whatever way that was i think that was just a fun nod but if you think about that as a canon event that actually took place that means that hell exists that means heaven exists that means religion is real that means that angels are real if demon demons are real then angels are real there's so much to that so then you also look at the whole multiverse thing and you look at that's where the deadlights come from that's where it comes from a terror in our reality that leads to uh, the Dark Tower reality. That's where it comes from, the whole macroverse and all that stuff. Now, granted, I haven't read all of Stephen King's books, so I don't have all the information on that, but I do find it fascinating that there's a multiverse situation going on involving it. And we were just talking about this, how I think the multiverse would be a great way to revitalize some of these horror genres, but that's a conversation for another time. But I think Freddy would get his ass handed to him. And I think also remembering that Jason, while an immortal, you don't really see him being stopped much but in the, in freddy versus jason we know that that jason defeats freddy and that's with the fear that's with the strength that he has all the different strength and uh and fears that he's created with the teens around all, uh all that that whole situation they're able to overcome and not be so afraid of freddy in that situation and jason beats him and at the very end credits of freddy versus jason you see jason walking out of the lake holding on to freddy's head but freddy is still alive and he winks but he doesn't have a body now we don't know what happens after that that was i think robert england's last appearance so i don't think that we're going to see anything beyond that i think that was just a one and done scenario plus all the other issues um with with jason and the friday the 13th franchise as well but i do think that uh that with that whole situation between the two, there's nothing that really gives Freddy an advantage either in a dream world or outside of a dream world with the deadlights. You would have to have an external element that gives Freddy something to stand on. He has no legs at this point. He has he can't cause fear in the deadlights, so I don't know how you try to survive that. But Freddy is afraid of fire to some extent. I think you could use that to your advantage. And I think if, if the deadlights were to inspect uh, inside his psyche psychosis his soul whatever like evaluate that they could very easily create the worst moments in freddy krueger's lifetime pre pre-death pre-demon powers and what is that i mean he's surrounded by a bunch of angry mobbers with uh, torches that burn him to the ground that's got to be a terrifying situation for him i don't i don't think i don't think freddy having power means that he's absolved from fear i just think that he doesn't really have a lot to challenge him and i think the deadlights would wreck the shit with him like he would be destroyed especially if there's nothing around that he can create fear of his own to get power from and i don't know like what do you do what do you how do you possibly scare a, a being that is not human but can manifest itself into any shape form size that it wants you can't i don't and i don't think freddy can do that outside in the real world in any way i think he has some manipulation in the dream world but in real world no nah, dude he gets screwed he doesn't stand a chance at all against the deadlights in my opinion okay so that's interesting because me and you kind of differ on the aspect of having them fight in the real world because yeah the deadlights are something and i don't think that without the idea of freddy being as durable as he was shown to be against jason mind you i don't see pennywise inflicting that much damage on freddy by comparison to what jason did because if you're going to sit there and say that yeah pennywise could do what jason did to freddy in freddy versus jason and then some then i would have to ask for empirical evidence because thus far bill skarsgård's pennywise really wasn't shown doing anything really that impressive or menacing or insanely terrifying that i think would overwhelm freddy but as we now venture into scenario slash situation b we have the dream realm right so a lot of people may look at this and say okay well freddy may have the utmost advantage here considering how he could just ping pong pennywise around and just manifest himself into whatever he wants to be and get the better of him there i think this might actually favor the deadlights slash pennywise that much more in the dream realm only because i don't see freddy just as he had done with jason really getting the better of him even within this reality because when freddy kept on going at jason his moniker was well why can't you die i don't understand until he figured out that water was its weakness 
and that was all she wrote from there, right? But to exploit the weakness of the Deadlights in the Dream Realm is something that I don't see happening because while within this realm, who's to really say that the Deadlights can't be empowered by this or do something of the sorts to kind of flip things around on Freddy? So I might be leaning towards Pennywise in this scenario, but I want to know what everybody else has to say down in the comment section below when it comes down to them fighting in the Dream Realm and when looking at things from an objective view and placing them both in that situation, who do you think would emerge victorious in the Dream Realm and why? Well, first off, just to further support one thing, is you gotta remember that with, with Freddy Krueger, the best way to avoid being killed by him is not go to sleep, which means he really can't touch you when you're awake. When it comes to the Dream Realm, that is his world to manipulate completely. And the Deadlights or Pennywise, it, whatever you want to refer to it as, does have a weakness. I believe you can stab it in the heart. I believe weaken it by not giving off fear or being courageous or whatever, which I think Freddy would do because he probably wouldn't be afraid of it in the Dream World. But I don't think that he would just be able to like slash it to pieces. I think, I think there's two things that would happen. I think the most likely would be that if they can't kill each other, or if they're struggling to, they would just try to trap it. I think Freddy would probably try to use some manipulation tactic to contain the deadlights, lock it up in like a giant like box and wrap it in chains and stuff like that and keep it contained. And then hopefully like whatever you can do with his powers, keep it from uh, waking up. And the good news is though for Freddy and that advantage is I believe once the deadlights are defeated, I think Ah, oh, man, I feel like it can come back to life. I think it hibernates for like 30 years at a time or something. That might be like when it feeds. I can't remember it. Either you kill it and it's not like permanently dead and then it comes back 30 years later or it feeds and then it goes to sleep and comes back 30 years. I don't remember, but it's it's one of the two. Either way, I think that uh, you contain it and lock it up and then you don't really have to deal with it. Um, or two, if you can kill it by stabbing it in the heart, then I think that's probably what Freddy does. Freddy would have to create a scenario in the dream world where he can be like doing like a, a, a two-way mirror type of situation where he's behind the walls watching the deadlights as the deadlights is trying to figure out like what's going on where it is trying to gather it and collect itself and then he'd have to lunge out at the right point to get an advantage and find that vulnerable spot and strike it with his hand claws that's really it i don't think that there's any way for the deadlights to have an advantage in the dream world because it's not Freddy doesn't have power in the real world, really. I mean, yeah, if you're a normal human like me, or you're a teenager, you know, and you're terrified of the idea of Freddy, yeah, you're gonna get scared, and he's still a dude running around with claws that can slash you to pieces, but we know that even if you were to attempt to kill Freddy, you'd cut his head off, and he can still live. We know that from uh, Freddy versus Jason. He's still alive at the very end. He winks, you know, at the camera, showing that despite the fact he has no body, his head can still do stuff. In the dream world, though, that's almost like a whole other universe and he can do anything there like it's like the dude has got the infinity gauntlet and he's rocking the reality stone and he can do whatever he wants and use his imagination it's not this it, it's the dream world is not like a mysterio like hollow cube where he can just create a whole bunch of like fake images and holograms and stuff like that and you can just like pass through it, it doesn't work that way the dream universe is like the matrix once you're plugged into it once you're asleep you die and you take hits there you take that in the real if you get punched in the face in Freddy's universe and you wake up, you're gonna have a broken nose, a bloody jaw, whatever, something like that. So it's just as real as the real world, only Freddy can do whatever the hell he wants to you. So if I'm Freddy in that situation, I'm creating an entire scenario that will confuse the deadlights and trap it if I can't beat it, if I can't find that vulnerable spot and kill it, or I am going to find my advantage by controlling the environment, knowing that it, I'm not afraid of it, and therefore it loses its power and then I find some sort of spot to take it down. But it, it depends though, because if you look at sort of what we've seen in uh, in in the movies and in the books with with uh, Pennywise, it's not, it's not exactly not being afraid, it's bravery. It's something about having a pure heart or being a polar opposite to the fear that uh, the deadlights feeds off of and, and, and creates itself as an image of horror. And I don't know if Freddy can exactly do that because it's not exactly pure of heart. Granted, that saying pure of heart doesn't mean pure good, right? So you could be pure evil, which Freddy is, so maybe he does qualify for that. But I think I think that it would be a situation where he they would not be able to kill each other. I think if if somehow Freddy would be able to get the deadlights to fall asleep, he would have to lock it up in some sort of sarcophagus or some sort of you know, chest or whatever within the dream world and keep it there permanently. I think that that would be it. And then the only way for it to, you know, escape somehow would be wake it up in the real world or whatever. 
So I, I don't know if they'd be able to kill each other, but I do think Pennywise wins for sure in the real world, hands down. Freddy can trap it very easily, I think, in the dream world. Um, I just don't know it because the good guys, uh, the Losers Club, like any sort of positive energy that defeats Pennywise, they're the good guys. It's not, it's not bad guys. We haven't seen that before. So I don't know if the rules would apply if a villain was to try to take on Pennywise and could stop it the same way, which is why I think the best way to handle it is to lock it up rather than try and kill it because I just I don't think Freddy has that ability. Well make no mistake about it I think this would be a really really fascinating battle to see in which I want you guys to let us know down the comment section below on who you guys believe would win between Freddy and Pennywise in both situations that having to be A in the real world and B in the dream realm to where we want to go on ahead and hear what you guys have to say down below again thank you all so much for watching thank you all so much for your time as if of course you guys just so happen to be new to the channel then I do encourage you all to go on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications that way you guys never miss a single video that's posted onto the channel on top of giving this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button down below tune back in for more and we'll be seeing each and every single one of you down the comment section below and in the next video take it easy guys and have a great day peace